Columbia, that's where a reform of the military criminal justice system approved by the Congress has raised many concerns. As our correspondent Natalia Margarita tells us now, legal actions against the reform have already been announced by opponents that consider it to be a path towards immunity. It was April 2008 when unionist leader Guillermo Rivera brought his daughter to the school for the last time. Three months later, his body was found. Now, Rivera's daughter, Chaira, sees the latest military criminal justice reform as an affront for the relatives that, like her, have been seeking justice for what they believe are state crimes. It is a major setback in terms of justice as the reform means they would not be delving into the crimes committed by the police or the army in Colombia. As a result, many crimes such as forced disappearances or extrajudicial killing would remain under complete impunity. For member of the Congress, Ali Uribe, the biggest concern is how the concepts of legitimate target and collateral damage are being manipulated in the military justice reform to extend impunity for security forces. They argue that within military operations, civilians can be confused with armed actors. Therefore, if a civilian gets killed, it was either a collateral damage or a legitimate target for being in the area where the military operation was taking place. I insist that it's simply a way to promote human rights violations in Colombia. What is known in Colombia as the false positives scandal involves the murder of 5,700 civilians whose bodies were then passed off as those of rebels to boost combat kill rates. Some 800 members of the security forces have been jailed so far and lately five colonels were put under trial. So when the first sentences against security forces members are being given, that's right when they start talking about the necessity of guaranteeing legal security for the military as if it didn't exist before. Legal security has always existed as it has always been clear that security forces cannot murder civilians. Now victims fear that cases that should be under the ordinary justice end up in impunity under the jurisdiction of military courts, right in a moment when truth and justice is at the center of Colombia's peace negotiations. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.